Hello, this is Halim Sakarya. I'm going to do the uh, one part of the investigation for of AP biology, diffusion and osmosis. The first part, which is uh, the limitations of cell, on cell size. Um, there are a couple of ways to do it. I'm going to do the uh, the one way with uh, sensors. I'm going to use conductivity probe of Vernier data collection systems and uh, I'm going to show you the materials first for this and then the procedure to do this experiment. Um, I will go ahead and show you the materials. You will need a um, magnetic stirrer for this. So this is a both hot plate and a magnetic stirrer. There's a uh, ring stand attached to it, and you will need a clamp to secure your conductivity probe. You will need a beaker. You will need this little magnet to stir the solution. That is in your magnet stir. You will need a conductivity probe. I use Vernier. You can use any other uh, data collection system. Um, there is this um, interface to connect your probe into your laptop called GoLink. Um, there are a couple of other um, interfaces that Vernier uses. I'm going to use this. Um, you will need an agar cube. Actually, you will need three agar cubes so you can compare the different sizes of uh, model cells. But I, I will just show you the one. Uh, the largest cell that I'm using and I will just follow the same procedure for the other um, other smaller uh, model cells so what I basically do it like use this in the first step of the experiment take the same size of cube divide it into eight equal pieces and do the same procedure and at the third step of the experiment I got again the same size of agar cube cut it into 64 equal pieces and do the same procedure, follow the same procedure. You will need a beaker um, and you will need distilled water. Well what basically happening in the experiment is you're going to use the agar cube as a model cell. There will be um, salts dissolved in this, uh, the table salt, sodium chloride. Um, there's one percent sodium chloride in this test uh, in this um, model cell agar cube I will place this agar cube in a distilled water there is no salts dissolved in distilled water when I place this in distilled water the salt will diffuse out and I'm going to measure the rate at which this salt these ions diffusing out from agar cube into the um, distilled water in my beaker. When I compare the rates at which salt diffuses out from the agar cube in this size of agar cube in the smaller sized agar cubes, I can compare the uh, rate of diffusion to the cell size. Again, I'm going to do just this one and whenever you're doing your experiment you can try other uh, three, four, five different sizes of uh, model cells in your preference. So I will go ahead and show you how to uh, set this experiment up. Um, first I will plug the magnetic stirrer into the outlet. And then I'm going to place my beaker on the uh, magnetic stirrer, I will place the magnet in the beaker and then I'm going to put distilled water in the beaker I think this is enough you don't really care about how much distilled water you have put in the 
weaker but just to cover the model cell is enough and I'm going to connect uh, my sensor into the in my laptop by the way you will need a data collection software to use your sensors this that you should see here is logger pro that's the uh, data collection uh, software of vernier sensors and probes so it will recognize when I um, connect my sensor into the laptop so I will place this into my clamp secure my sensor and then I will connect go link the interface in my laptop connected to my laptop and it recognized go link as you can see here it says go something it's go link and I will connect this is your connector the probe you will connect this part of the connector the probe into go link and this side of the go link so as soon as I enter it to the conductivity uh, on my uh, conductivity sensor into the goal link this uh, the software recognizes the conductor of the probe here and you can use these setup for like conductivity over time versus time but there is a preset set up for this um, particular experiment so you either go click on this file and select open or you click on this so it will open the experiment files you will click on biology with vernier and you will select the limits on cell size click open it will open the preset file for you and you will it is asking you uh, please adjust uh, your conductivity sensor uh, switch it from 0 to 200 to 0 to 20,000 and I'll click OK so there are three different um, choices of data collection on this uh, ranges for your data it's 0 to 200 0 to 2000 and 0 to 20,000 um, they find it appropriate to select it from 0 to 20,000 in uh, while you're doing this experiment now I'm going to first calibrate my sensor to the distilled water because this distilled water might be kind of contaminated okay it looks pretty nice though but I will zero my sensor clicking on this well you how do you do it is go to experiment tab click on it go down and click on zero that's zero okay it fluctuates but the small fluctuations are fine now before I start my experiment I will place my uh, model cell which is this agri cube into the distilled water 
uh, I wrapped it in um, this plastic wraps so it won't lose water through evaporation and won't change its concentration. I prepare them beforehand and I store them in these um, plastic wraps until we start the experiment. In another video I will try to show you how you could um, you could prepare these uh, agar cubes. So I will place in I will place this in the water, distilled water, and then I submerge my conductivity probe into the distilled water and then start data collection. While you're submerging the conductivity probe, make sure this little uh, silver piece that collects data is totally submerged in water. And then I start stirring. And then I will start data collection. You can start data collection either by clicking on this collect button or clicking on your space button. It will collect data for two minutes. Um, the reason we're using this um, stirrer is to ensure that the salt that dissolving out to the um, distilled water is mixed evenly, is distributed evenly throughout the solution. So as you can see, the increase on the ions in the water is pretty linear. There's very small uh, bumps, but it looks very perfect, uh, linear. After the data collection is done, you will have to draw a um, best fit line for these plotted data and calculate the rate by finding the slope of that best fit line. Well, using this um, software, LoggerPro, you can easily um, find out these values because the uh, um, software calculates it for you. But students will have to copy this uh, data and plot their own graph and then do their best fit line and then calculate the rate by hand without using this this property of the um, this property of the software but I will show you anyways um, just to uh, show you the property of the software now the co data collection is done it will stop automatically when the data collection is done so it has stopped I will stop stir I will take my conductivity probe out I will rinse the sensor with distilled water in this this is the silver piece that I'm talking about. This silver piece has to be submerged in the water while you're doing your experiment. And I clean this piece using just the water gently. And I'll clean this sides to prevent any contamination in the further steps of the experiment. So before before I go ahead and I will not do the further steps though, but before you go ahead in the further steps, you dump everything away. And then you put you rinse the um, beaker well, you put new distilled water in it and use 
get another um, auger cube divided into eight pieces put all the eight pieces in the beaker and start the uh, um, process again when you're done with the second step empty everything out set everything again put get another um, agar cube divided into six to four pieces six to, six to four equal pieces place all the pieces in the distilled water and start the process again when you're done with all the three runs three different uh, runs with three different size of agar cubes you go here in the uh, software you go click on this linear fit button where you see a function and a, a, a line that is the best fit line of that function and it gives you the R value uh, regression so you do this clicking on this and it, you will have you will have a, a floating box for each of the data sets I have just one data set here, right now here you move it around wherever you find it convenient but this is the slope of the best fit line and this is the y-intercept of the best fit line so here's the um, exper part of the experiment limitations of cell size and I hope this will be helpful with your experiments